Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at a short physics question. Let's go straight into the question here. An optical lever is a very sensitive device for detecting small rotations. A lamp sends a narrow beam of light onto a small plane mirror attached to a shaft whose rotation is to be measured. So the operation of the device is shown in plan view, which means it's from the top view. So if you look at the diagram here, we can see that the lamp is sending a beam of light to the mirror, which is then being reflected. But if the mirror is rotated at a particular angle, just like what we are seeing in the second diagram here, then as the incident light goes to the mirror, it gets reflected back to the screen on the left side, where the light is reflected at the angle of theta. Here in the question, they say the beam from the lamp reflects from the mirror to give a small spot of light on a scale placed just above the lamp. The shaft and the mirror rotate through one degree. The spot of light moves along the scale. Now this is exactly how they measure the rotation. Essentially, they measure the distance between the lamp and where the spot of light is located. If the spot of light goes back to the original position of the lamp, then that tells us that the mirror is facing directly at the lamp. But as the mirror is being rotated, we can start to see that the spot of light will slowly move down and as the ro mirror rotates even more, the spot of light will go down further. Hence, by measuring the distance between the lamp and the spot of light, we can deduce the angle in which the mirror has rotated. So now in the question, the table shows the angle theta through which the reflected beam rotates and the conditions required for high sensitivity. Which row is correct? When we look at this question, most students will be very tempted to pick either A or B because the question did mention that the shaft and mirror rotate through one degree. Therefore, the angle theta should be one degree. But in reality, the angle theta here is actually twice the angle of rotation, which is going to be two degrees instead. To understand why, let us look at the diagram more closely. Let's focus on the diagram on the left first. We can see that there is a small mirror surface over here. And the normal line in this case is just a horizontal line. Here I have represented the normal line with red color dotted line here. Now in the case of the diagram on the left, since the incident light from the lamp is parallel to the normal line, therefore we can see that the incident angle is zero degrees. Over here we recall that from the law of reflection, the incident and the reflected angle must be the same. So since the incident angle is zero degree, the reflected angle must be zero degree as well, which is why the reflected ray will follow the same path as the incident ray of light. Now what happens when the mirror is being rotated? Now recall that normal line is essentially the line that is always perpendicular to the surface of the mirror here. So when the mirror is rotated, the normal line is also being rotated. Now in the question, they mentioned that the shaft and the mirror are rotating through one degree. And since the normal line is rotating together with the mirror, we can deduce that the normal line must have rotated through an angle of one degree as well. So now as an incident light ray incident onto the mirror, we can see that there's an incident angle of one degree. And from the law of reflection, the reflected angle must be one degree as well, which means that this angle over here must be one degree also. Which is why from the diagram alone, we can directly see that the angle theta is actually one degree plus one degree, which will give us two degrees. So we can directly eliminate options A and B. Next, what about high sensitivity? So are you supposed to put the lamp and the mirror as close as possible or as far away from each other as possible in order to maximize the sensitivity? Now this is actually more of a geometrical question. So to figure out what's the answer here, let us draw the diagram directly. Over here, I have two sets of diagrams. On the left, 
we have a lamp and on the right we have a mirror rotated at a certain angle. Now let's suppose we have an incident light rays incident onto the mirror and due to reflection the light ray will be reflected roughly like this. But what happens if we were to put the mirror somewhere further away? We can do the same thing again. Let's suppose that an incident light rays goes into the mirror. As a result, it gets reflected. And keep in mind that the two mirrors are supposed to be rotated at the same amount of angles, which means that they will be reflected at the same angle as well. So our ray diagram should look something like this. Now we have to remember what is the purpose of this setup. We perform the experiment here to identify the value of the theta here. And as mentioned before, the value of theta here can be deduced from the distance between the lamp and the spot of light that's being reflected by the mirror. So in this case, this distance corresponds to the angle theta in the first place. But for the second case, we have the same angle theta as well. However, we notice that this length here is significantly longer than the previous case. And since this one has a larger distance, we can measure it more accurately. Or we can still measure a smaller value of angle theta here, as long as the distance here can still be big enough to be measured using a ruler. So we can clearly see that in the second case, this will result in a higher sensitivity, which is involving a larger distance between the lamp and the mirror. And that is why to achieve a higher sensitivity, we should maximize the distance. In other words, the lamp and the mirror should be as far away from each other as possible. And hence, the answer is supposed to be D. And that is it.